the decolonizing process. So Edri DFF working on a decolonizing process for the digital rights field, thinking about interrogating power, thinking about how we do our work in a fundamentally different way. Um, and yeah, not replicating inequalities in our work into the field. Uh, building a really cool and strong coalition of organizations working on digital rights and migration has been really powerful. We've worked together, uh, not just with colleagues, but also volunteers from pretty much every EU country to make a ban on facial recognition one of the hottest things at the top of the EU's agenda. Even a couple of years ago, we were told it's never going to happen. And you know, really, we've, we've shown the power of people, the power of, of joining together and the power of our, our arguments and you know, really set the terms of the debate. I think in 2022, I was particularly proud of seeing how uh, we managed to push big tech uh, and their power uh, during our lobbying campaigns. Seeing that, you know, companies such as Facebook would pay millions of euros in advertising campaigns to counter our really good advocacy arguments, that really makes me proud. We managed to really stay on top of things. We managed to do so much work uh, when so many new laws regulating the digitalized society show up. It's really a matter of being resilient and managing to prioritize and work in a constructive way internally, but also externally in times of constant crisis. Lots of uh, policy uh, advancement we've done in terms of the artificial intelligence legislation, in terms of protecting encryption in, uh, in the online world, having an amazing team with whom we can do a lot of great work and having a great working environment and win a lot of victories. The campaigns and communication teams is amazing. We're doing a lot of great work and it's only going to help us to achieve even more victories.